Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my bro Jeremy. What's good? Bringing you another video today. And today is a little bit different. We're going to be doing another tutorial. But before we get into that, we want to wish you guys a very happy new year. We hope 2017 is going to be awesome for everybody. And thank you again for the support on this channel. So today we're going to be talking about a software called Filmora, which is a pretty easy to use interface. We're also going to be talking about the Blockbuster Effects Pack, which can make any video pretty much epic. But uh, we're really gonna focus on how simple this makes your editing, especially if you're a beginner, even intermediate. This is a program that can really help you make your videos freaking awesome. So with Filmora, you have over 300 video effects, you've got filters and overlays, you've got text and titles, you've got motion elements, and you've got a music library with over 25 copyright free songs. And of course, the effects store launches a new video pack every single month that provides free and paid video effects. These tools are more than enough for you to show your creativity and to do it very quickly. So, while I do have some editing skills myself, Jeremy is actually the primary editor for our videos and he's going to be demonstrating all these things on our clips uh, from things you've probably seen on the channel. So, without further juju, here's Jeremy. Hey guys, what's good? So today I'm just going to run you guys through our process of editing with Filmora. And this is definitely an easy to use program, so technically anyone can learn how to edit. And I definitely mean it when I say anyone can learn how to edit. So first off, once you open Filmora, you have a few options to create a new project. And for YouTube standards, you're gonna want to select 16 by nine and go to full feature mode, just because it allows you to go a little more in depth when it comes to editing. When the project opens up, you're shown essentially three different sections, the top left being the menu for effects, transitions, which also doubles as a place for all your files and all your media. There's also a timeline down below where all your clips are placed for whatever video you're making, as well as a preview screen at the top right to see the progress of your edits. To get started, you're going to want to import all the media that you need for said project by clicking the icon right here or you're gonna to wanna to go to file at the top left and hit import media and make sure you get all the files that you need for this video that you're going to make. Once you go ahead and do that, you're gonna to want to add all the clips to the project timeline by clicking this icon as well or dragging and dropping it straight into the timeline. Once you have all your clips sorted out in the timeline, you can go ahead and start editing. Make all the necessary adjustments that you need to the clips that you have in your timeline if you need a cut, you got to cut. If you need to delete parts, go ahead and delete it. And an easy way to do that is using the toolbar right above the timeline. And it gives you those options to cut, to delete, to crop videos, or even rotate them. And it even gives you the option to record a voiceover if you need to, if you need to add it into your video. They even give you the option to color grade your videos in the advanced color tuning section. But if you guys want to take it a step further, you can go into Video Inspector and you can fine tune everything that you've already done. You can do things such as speed the video up, change the pitch and or volume. And there's a lot of stuff that you could do with this. So it's really up to you guys what you feel is best for your video. And once you're done with all those necessary adjustments, we're going to hop right into the effects. The effects are located right above the timeline and they contain music, text slash credits, transitions, Instagram like filters, overlays if you want, as well as elements, which I'm going to show a little bit more about in this video. There are a ton of presets to choose from and Filmora also releases a new pack each month. So if you guys are interested in a certain pack that they release, be sure to check it out because uh, they release some pretty awesome stuff. But for today's video, I'm going to focus on the Blockbuster effects pack because it has a bunch of explosions, lasers, and even ultimate destruction effects that I felt would fit with the GTA 5 video that we made. It kind of made for a cheesy and like, I guess, fun video, uh, which was kind of what I was looking for. So that's why I chose this effects pack. You guys can choose whatever effects work for your guys' video. I personally chose the Atomic Explosion, and I use it for the end of our video because, like I said earlier, it uh, made for like a cheesy finale, and that's basically what I was aiming for. 
but if you guys want to incorporate it more into your videos, you can. You definitely can. I just like to go with the simple route. I mean, like right here, I could use certain lasers. I could use the, the ground falling. Ah! And just random stuff. It just makes it funny. It makes it cheesy. But um, if you are going for that blockbuster effect, just like the effects pack name, uh, you could definitely do that. You could go for the more movie-like tone. You can definitely do that. I just like to use it for fun and for, for cheesy moments like those. In order to use the effect, you just click the plus icon or you could also drag it into the timeline, uh, line it up to where you wish to have the effect shown. And once you guys feel that you're fully done with the project, when you feel like your video is perfect or as good as you feel like you can make it, you're going to want to export the video. They really made it easy for you guys because there's a button right there that says export. And once you click that, you're given another menu, which gives you a couple more options. Um, you can export to devices, straight to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or even to DVD. But I like to stick to the main format where you can customize it to your own liking. So you're gonna wanna name the video, and then once you do that, you select where you want to export it to. And that's definitely up to you guys. Once you do that, you're going to want to export to an MP4 and or MOV, depending on your guys' preference. I like to choose the MP4 and go for the 1080p selection, the 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second. It definitely is preference and make sure the codec is h.264 and once you do all that you're gonna want to hit create and or enter and you're basically done you're just gonna have to wait for the video to export so as you guys can see it is super user friendly and there's tons of things that you could use on this program it's just endless possibilities and it's very 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 easy to use definitely has the best effects by far yes it looks for, for the price yes and the thing is it makes editing that much more simpler especially for those that don't really know how to edit like right off the bat a lot of programs can seem way too overwhelming because that's at least that's yes. how yes. i get when i first look into a new program but this like when you open it everything is there pretty much and you can just go ahead and, and play around with the different effects and and all that to make your videos you know interesting and definitely going to be using this for edits that you know i want to do it on the fly and be able to put uh cool things in there without having to you know go over the top like yeah. you know what i'm saying just and like it even really has more effects than other programs yes it does it really like does. built in yeah so. and like I said, the interface is really clean that's another thing with the very uh, clean yes program it looks nice so it's not like when you open it, you're like, oh my God, there's so much on the screen. <laughs> it's more like everything's in their, the place that you w would like it to be. And yeah. it's very clean. Yeah. And we enjoyed that. Be sure to check out the links down below. If you guys want more information about Filmora. And yeah, if you guys want to buy it yourself, there's also a link down below. And with that being said, you guys, thank you for tuning in and watching this video. And there'll be more. If you guys have any questions about it, go leave it in the comments down below. And send for more our love. With that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.